Okay, this is part five, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, this is part five of my homemade quad slash ATV. I did a lot of it. Well, I did a lot of it work to it since I last updated. Um, put the steering on. It's like janky steering wheel. You know, it works pretty well, but, you know, I didn't get this axle right here perfectly aligned in alignment you can see that things kind of tilted this way and this thing's tilted that way so so it kind of you know when I uh, turn it this way and I let go it springs to the center which is kind of cool but it's you know I don't know it's yeah it's cool um, I came up a name uh, I thought up a name for it I'm gonna call it the bug because this thing looks like a bug. Um, I did not mean for it to look like a bug, but that's what it looks like. Yesterday I put um, I put the chain on. Put, I made this chain tensioner. Chain's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Yeah. Yesterday I um, I put the motor on. I put everything on. I started it up, and this thing had power. You know, this thing, um, this thing cruised. I was spinning tires trying to go up a hill, but, you know, hopefully once, um, hopefully once I get this, see the axle's not even spinning with that tire, but I need to get this, oops, put that back on later. Um, once I get that tire on there, hopefully I'm not going to start spinning tires when I try to go up a hill. So, yeah. So this thing definitely has power. So that's really good. But um this thing is almost done. Right now I'm putting the brake on here. I had an idea of doing um because brakes the fuck was that? I'm hearing shit. That's weird. But um I, I had an idea uh, for brakes because brakes they're hard to make. So what I'm gonna do? I'm hearing stuff. That's weird. But any, anyway, anyway, um, I had an idea. This is gonna be the um um thing. This is gonna be the thing that you know pushes it. This is gonna be the brake. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this belt that I cut in half because I didn't I didn't need it. Is I'm gonna weld a bar under here, attach this thing to that side. This thing's gonna go up and attach to there. When I hit the brakes, this thing is gonna tent, um, tighten on on the wheel. Therefore, giving traction. Therefore, slowing it down. Um, hopefully, it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work because, you know, if you've ever worked with V belts, you know how much it doesn't really have to be that tight for it to have a lot of traction. So, yeah, th I think this is definitely gonna work. Um, if not, here's my second brake system, and I'm gonna put where? Where is it? There it is. Found it. I'm gonna put this regular brake system that I got off of a bike right under there. It's going and it's gonna pinch just like that onto the wheel. So it's gonna slow it down. This this brake right here is gonna just slow it down, and this thing's gonna be like the e-brake. It's gonna stop it all the way. Then you're gonna go flying over the handlebars. But um, yeah, this thing's coming together really good. Uh, I just have a few more welds. I have a few more welds to um, put on it. I need to put a bar between here and here, here and here, maybe one here and here, here and here to kind of make sure it, you know it's sturdy. But um, yeah, this thing's 
coming together pretty fast. I mean, I've think about it. I've only been working on this thing for about um, two weeks. Two weeks, and I'm almost done. So uh, maybe about two and a half to three weeks, it'll be done. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I don't know. If you want to subscribe, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I don't know. Whatever. But um, yeah. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.